the thing about the Frieza deck, right, since since you mentioned it, because I saw someone talking about this yesterday. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to take that dude out. I keep right-clicking as, as, like, an instinct. Um, so this is this is the blocker dude, right? Choose up two Frieza's armor among them and place in your combo area. Like, this dude's cool. Um, but, like, there just are not enough Frieza's armies card in this deck to, to take advantage of the Golden Frieza. Like, even if you look at all the cards he has here, like, this is Cooler's Army, right? Like, this isn't, uh, yeah, this is Cooler's Armored Squadron. It's not Frieza's Army. Uh, this is Chilled's Army. It's not Frieza's Army. So, like, this deck is cool. It just doesn't have enough cards to actually take advantage of its own mechanic. Like, you can tell that they wanted this to be the weakest deck in the game. Um... Because, like, Zamasu, at least you can stack your deck up to 60 and then just, like, play the game like that uh, so that you have those extra five cards to mill uh, for the leader. Where Yellow Freeze, you you, you, you kind of can't do that. But, okay. We're going to go online with Goku because Goku was the only leader I didn't try out yesterday. And with his ability to put energy back, like, I feel like it's going to be, like, the most fun thing we can do. All right. Oh, we got a Broly player. Oh, oh man. This is going to suck. This is either going to suck or is it going to be really good in our favor? Okay. We drew a really good hand. I'm going to put back one Weiss's Coercion. And I'm going to put back Piccolo for now because, you know, we're so early game that, like, I want something to put into energy. Like, I don't want to put any of these four cards into energy. <clears throat> oh, two more. Okay, well, there's there's the card I put into energy. Oh, and I, I don't even get to go first. But you know what? We have the better battle effect. So I don't mind if we don't go first. Alright, so he's playing a Broly. He gets to add a Broly from his top seven. Now... IRL, I have the Super Broly deck, because that's actually when I started playing the card game. It was after the Super Broly movie came out, and then they made a structure deck for it. And that's when I, um, I started, you know, taking this game seriously. Um, and that's, like, my favorite deck to play. I, I, I still have that deck, IRL, like, built to its, like, modern format. Uh, so we're going to charge this Vegito, because we don't need all three of them. And we're going to... See, we don't want to play the Vegeta too early. Because he can just attack over it and then we won't have another Vegeta to use. Um, but if we... So as a matter of fact, I think it's better to activate this now. Because after he attacks, he's going to put our... Oh, here we go. Two drop, but we can't play it this turn. I think it's... This is, like, best case scenario for us. And then we get to switch this back to active. Let's see if he takes it. He might want to block this one. No, he takes it. Okay. Two free, two free life. Oh, yeah, there, there's definitely good uh, Gotenks leaders out there. Um, I don't know when they'll be put into this game, but if you want to play the physical card game, you can definitely do research um, into it. There's a website called DBS Deck Planet, and that's like the best database for the modern Dragon Ball Super card game. Um, if you want to get into it, like IRL. All right. So just for the sake of conserving energy, I'm going to play this Vegeta now so that I don't have to play a next turn. I really, really, really hope that um, he doesn't do anything to it. Because I know next turn I can discard this Goku, play this 2-drop, attack, attack. Actually, no, I should be careful if I attack next turn. Because his counterplay card 
actually KOs one drops. Meaning, I could potentially lose this Vegeta and potentially lose my Vegito play altogether. If I'm not careful. Alright, so... He is playing full green. But he put this card in his deck. This does not come in the deck normally. Alright, uh, he played Paragus. Paragus gets him the Broly, Broly's ring from his deck, which he actually needs, right? Because this leader, when it attacks, both players have to discard one card. But what Broly's ring does is that your hand isn't affected, so they don't have to discard one. Only I discard one. All right, so like literally, it doesn't even ask if I want to, you know, do anything. It just says discard one card. Like you don't have a choice. I think we should discard this Vegito. To be honest, you know what? We already, we already seen one in in energy. Like this is our third one. Can you remove fields at all? Oh yeah, fields are basically just battle cards. So if you have any effect that removes a battle card, you can remove a field card. Um, I think, I think we, we, we removed this Goku. I want to save my Vegitos because I might need a second one later on. Uh, we're not going to guard because we want to add the cards from life to hand. All right, we got our super combo, which is useless right now, but still good. And he's not going to do a second attack to give us too many cards either. Um, at this point, yeah, second second Vegito has to go into the energy. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, we're going to do this now just to see if he has... The counter... Oh, no. He actually wasted all of his energy. So, this is really good. Because we know that he does not... He, he's not going to have the uh, counter attack. Because it, it costs one, one, one energy for him to activate. And the fact that he has zero means that he cannot activate it. So, we can hit him with this double strike. It doesn't matter if it resolves or not. Um, personally. It, it doesn't matter to me if this attack hits or not. But he's going to let it hit. Okay. At that point, I probably should have attacked with Goku first. But you know what? It's fine. Um, but no. We, we, we actually have to save our Goku attack. Because we need to play this Son Goku first. Right? And then attack him with it. It's 20k. So even if he awakens here... He's still gonna have to. Um, he's still gonna have to use something to guard. All right, legendary Super Saiyan. Let's see what you got. Oh, actually, this legendary Super Saiyan is pretty scary because When he attacks, he actually KOs a card on each each side of the, the battlefield. So... Yeah. Alright. I'm just going to attack with Goku here, just so I can untap my energy. Alright, so I can choose one of my energies, switch it back to active mode. And... Step in there. And now I get to play this Vegito from hand using both these cards and the one energy that I, you know, used. Brings out Vegito. Vegito's effect, because I played him using his ability. I get to draw two. Nice. Okay, I probably could have... You know, it. I I'm honestly okay with... um. With him KOing this now, because I, I have both a Goku and a Vegeta to play another Vegito from my hand. It's 
see Goku getting energy back. It's so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, he's actually going to try to defend this. Okay. He needs one more. Yep. Yeah, Vegito does go hard. The interaction with, like, one-drop Vegeta gaining the 10k, and then you, when you fusion, the fusion keeps the 10k, like, that's a crazy-ass interaction. Like, I, I never would have known that unless, like, this game told me. Like, I know there's some, like, rulings in Dragon Ball Super are, like, really complicated sometimes because of stuff like that. When you stack a card on top of another card, and a card has a, like, um, attack boost onto it, then the attack boost gets carried over, but if it has something like Double Strike or like something applied to it, like that stuff doesn't carry over. So only certain things get carried over, which is, uh, you know, again, it's 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 more complicated than I think it needs to be. All right. So he's going to have three energy. So he can't play the Kale or anything yet. He can't play any of the broken... Um, None of the broken cards in this deck he can't use yet, but he is going to be able to uh, KO my Vegito with the greatest of ease. Like, he just placed a one drop down, attack with his Broly leader. I have to both discard one and, um, and pop one on my field. But this is, this is a great counterplay to Broly because you want this in the drop zone. Like, this, this this particular Vegito, you want this in a drop zone. You don't want that in hand. So let's see what he does. Alright, so he places down the 3-drop Broly, Endless Evolution. So it does force us to KO our Vegito anyway. A lot of the green Broly cards do KO. Um, like, this Kale right here... It's a 4-drop, and when you play this card, choose one of your battle cards and KO it, right? Then choose any number of your opponent's battle cards, which total cost adds up to 5 and KO them. Also, it has critical. Critical meaning that when when she attacks... Hmm. They did not hit me for damage. Okay. Well. I guess they sort of just want me to vibe? Alright, this requires 5. Uh, we'll play this Goku, I guess. Look at top seven. Add a Goku. Um, I feel like playing this Guardian North Kai might not be worth it because, again, I will I will be forced to KO one of my own cards next turn, but. You know what? I don't even think that's too much of an issue. I can't really attack anything. And so this is why Broly is a good control deck. Because he's put me in a situation where I can't do much without sacrificing an uh, unnecessary amount of resources. And like literally by not putting me down to four to four life, he has more control of the game right now. So yeah. Like, me attacking him isn't the wrong thing because I want to get him down to three life so that I can triple strike him with, you know, however much attack this thing is going to have. But at the same time, it's like, it's still... You know, not the best thing for me to... Um, to have to use extra cards and resources to attempt to inflict damage. Alright, so we're going to add one from life to hand. Let's see what we got. <gasps> we got the Vegito! Okay! So you know what? It's actually a good thing I played this uh, Vegeta then, because now I don't have to worry about... Um... Now I don't have to worry about keeping, uh, maintaining uh, Goku's and Vegeta's presence on the field. Alright, so he's going to guard.
and I think we just attack just so that we can um, untap one of our energy. I'm tempted to play Guardian Northkai, but again, if he has a Kale in his hand, if he has a Kale in his hand, he will get to just destroy the Guardian Northkai with sort of no repercussions. Though at the same time, it's better to have it and need it and then to need it and not have it. So, you know what? Yeah, I also don't want to play Goku because it costs two and I only have two left. Uh, so that would not be very intuitive. I think it's better if we just stop here. Because I, I do sort of want to see him, at the very least, play a Kale or something so I know how many he'll, he has left. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so he put in uh, he put Bio Broly in energy. Just attack me. Oh, okay, so he's Bring out the eight, uh, the six drop Broly, which is even more broken. This one has double strike, and it randomly discards two cards from my hand. Thankfully, not the Vegito, not the Vegito that we needed. And it's gonna hit me for double strike. I'm not blocking this, bro. Like, you got it. You know, thirty k. It's it's that's that's not worth blocking. He did get rid of the Weiss's coercion, but now we have the combo to bring out. Um, the broken Gogeta. So let's see what he does now. Um, so I, I have to choose one from hand and one from field. We can get rid of the... You know what? Let's get rid of the, the North Kai. I think it's a bad card... I think it's a bad card in this matchup, yeah. And then this this Vegeta already attacked, so it's kind of worthless anyway. It's a because if he has any if he plays any card that pops, th this isn't staying on board anyway. So it's all right. So he got rid of his own Broly's ring, and now it's defense step. So now I get to flip over, awaken into Super Saiyan Blue. Um, and since this is defense step, all I really have to do is just guard with a Goku. And it's best to use my Goku on field because, actually, we have two lightning speeds. Hmm. Is it possible we'll be able to play both of them next turn? Hmm. I would let him attack, but that threatens me for double strike. And I don't want to be at, at a point where double strike KOs me. So what I'm going to do... Is... I only need five to block. So I am, I am going to use this Goku. I am going to use that Goku. Yeah, that Goku doesn't do much on staying on the board for our turn, so. Alright, charge phase. Oh, this this Vegito is not once per turn, so that's actually really good. Um We might just have to put this Vegeta up. Because Real talk. Like real talk, real talk. He only has one energy left. I mean, 
Yeah, he only has one energy left, so he can only use the counter attack once. Because it's green energy, it's not blue. I don't think I'm going to be playing the Son Goku this turn. Yeah, because if, if this costs three, I definitely can't play Son Goku this turn. Unless I can. Because this is going to cost one. That's going to cost three. That's four. He puts back two. So I'm going to have two left. And what's going to be the last two for? I could put up I could put up Vegeta. Vegeta with super combo? Yeah. I feel like that'll be the best. Yeah. Or I could use this guy. Oh wait. Hold on. Why can't I use his ability? Oh, my leader has to be a Vegito. Oh my god, I completely miscalculated. Oh, I completely fucked this deck up. And I just put my Goku into energy. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I should have known it was too good to be true. But that means our best play now is literally to attack to, dry, to try to draw a card. <gasps> oh! We got the Goku back. Wait, that was minus because now, um. Now I don't get the two active energy back. Uh, whatever. It's alright. I'm... Yeah, I fucked up. God damn it. Alright, so we, we can't play this, this Vegito. We can only play... We can only play this one. And I have to control Vegeta and Goku. Which would have been way better, like, unironically, if we would have had the blue one in our hand. And, but we used up all of our blue ones. Yeah. Uh... I do be feeling kind of goofy sometimes. But it's alright. So that means this deck, we have to build to focus around the... The Goku getting as many Goku and Vegeta's out, so that we can uh, resolve. We can still get this Vegeta, because that that'll be the most important thing. Man, this thing is thirty k. We're not going to use the Vegeta because we don't want to take life to hand when this thing has 30k you know it's just not not optimal all right there there's this counterplay which again uh ko's one one drops or less so it's not something that we would want to have on field well, let's just use this to draw a card I don't even care if it's the wrong timing. I'm just going to use it as a draw card. Oh, and another Vegeta. Um. Yeah. Um, either we get a... Either we get a Weiss's Coercion from this double strike, or we lose. That's That seems to be the only option here. But here's the thing. 
he has so little cards in hand, I think we could still win this. Alright, he's gonna force me to KO my my Goku. That's that's fine. I'm only scared about this. Everything else is fine. So the question is. So we don't take these 15Ks. We just let him hit us. Let, let him hit us with this uh, double strike. And we just play it out from there. He has two cards left in hand. There's no way. We're, we're winning purely off of card advantage alone. Now we do have to discard one. So we can discard one of these lightning speeds because we're not playing them. We're not playing both of them in the same turn. I can tell you that. And he has to discard one as well. And then... Is he going to boost up this Burly? No, he's not. So that means, again, one to defend. See, we're going to win off of card advantage alone. Next turn, I just need one Goku. That's all I need. And I could turn this whole thing around. Okay. He's not going to hit us with the double strike. We did draw the uh, powers combined, though. It's not a Goku, but you know what? Hmm. Should we put it into energy or should we keep it in hand? I think I'm at the point. Um... Yeah, the Broly deck's really good, bro. I think I'm at the point where I don't need to put energy down. Or if I am, I'm going to put down one of these Vegetas. So, I can either double charge. Like, put... Double charge in hopes of pulling a Goku. And then... Hit him with the Vegito play. And to do that, I'm going to need to put Vegito in the energy. There's just no other way. Okay. So one energy. Boom. We're going to attack. Attack one. So he's, he's going to use a counter. That's fine. We still get the auto. We still get to use the auto effect. Please be a Goku. It's a Mafuba. Okay. So that's going to stop him from attacking with this uh, Broly right here. Alright. <gasps> we got the Goku! Okay. Shit. I don't think we can do the play, but we got the Goku. Alright, he did combo to maintain his health. All right, we need <gasps> Okay, this is good. This is good. We pulled the two drop Goku. Okay, this works This works He has one energy left. I don't think we can fail here. I'm about to hit him with the sickest play of his fucking life. Alright. He takes this, right? For one damage? Alright. So for two, right? We bring out this Goku right here. And we're actually going to switch it up on him. And we're going to... Oh, wait. We can't hit his battle card. He didn't attack. 
All right. So he has one energy left, and this is this is the big brain moment. We're we're really gonna have to think about this. He has one energy left. What is the chances that he has another counterattack in his hand? So he's used two full power energy so far. And he has a third full power energy. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh my God, I took too long. God damn it. Shit. Fuck. It's fine though, right? Because... No, it's not fine. Alright, he's using everything in hand. Can we survive this? I don't think we can. You see, the timer went all the way down for us, but it didn't go all the way down for our opponent. Like, I don't get it. Uh, 15. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to use everything here. We're forced to use this, uh, this Goku. Wait, do we still win? Yo, ironically enough, we do still win. Shit, even with even with the timer working against us, we were supposed to win last turn. Um Oh no, we don't still win. We have to discard one. Damn, we don't still win. I was gonna... God damn it. We have to do this to survive. Stupid timer. <gasps> Wait, no, I didn't mean to charge it. Oh, I wanted to play it. Why did I do that? Damn it. Alright, whatever. Combo. Yeah, alright. The goddamn ti goddamn ti timer killed us. Timer killed us that game. I keep forgetting about it. Like, we actually had the play, but the timer killed us. If it if it didn't skip our turn that one time, we could have triple-striked him for fucking so much damage. Alright, let me edit deck real quick. Um, We need to take these guys out, because they don't do anything in our deck. And we're going to add more of these Gokus. Uh... Blue. Yeah, we're at 50. Okay. The number of decks is inappropriate. What do you mean? Oh, it's... It's 49. Okay. Um... Anything we're not playing four of? Mafuba? Alright, Mafuba goes up to three. Okay. Let's try this one more time, because I want to pull this off. Dude, oh my, I'm so mad timer killed us. They should definitely give you more time. Like, modern super, modern Dragon Ball super matches take like at least an hour. 
Like you don't you don't need to make the timer that strict. Alright, um we're gonna put back Mafuba for now. And I think I think that's good. Got another Goku. He's gonna go first. It's alright, you win some, you lose some. It's 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 cool. I don't mind. I know I know I like if, if that was a real life game, I would have won that. He had nothing left in his hand, he didn't have any counterattacks. I would have played the Vegito for I would have played this one. Right, this one for my hand, and then it would have evolved into into the seven drop Vegito for my drop area that has triple strike. He had nothing left to beat that thing. Okay. Drew Luis's coercion. We'll put. Hmm. Should we put this as energy? This is kind of redundant early game. Yeah, we'll put this as energy. Play this Goku. Alright, look at top seven. Out of Goku. Uh, we can attack. He doesn't have a counter attack. Counter uh, attack. Put this back into active mode. Put that back into active mode and then play another Goku. Because, you know, the Wombos don't stop in this game. Alright. Look at top seven. Yeah, this one. Right, like this one has triple strike. It would have hit him for three damage. That would that that would have killed him. It's all right. Uh, I guess we turn end. Alright, yeah, he gets to use Vegito's effect. Damn it. I really wish I would have read the whole, um, if your leader is Vegito. I keep forgetting that's a thing, because I'm so used to Yu-Gi-Oh, where it's like, you know, just activate the card, do whatever. But no, like, it's it's a little more archetype based in this game, which is, again, I, I, I can respect that. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just uh, a little tight that I didn't realize that's what it did. Right. So yeah, he played Vegito the proper way and he got to draw two cards off of it. So, yeah. Pretty good, pretty good combo, and it only costs two energy. You, you you get like a 20k beater, and and a draw two for two energy. Like that's that's really good. All right. I'm I'm not gonna block any of these attacks because I want to dig for a Vegeta. He milled a Weiss's coercion. Oh man, it feels bad. All right. Okay, so we got our Vegeta. So our Vegeta is gonna resolve next turn. And he's attacking with Vegito. That's good. Let's see what else we pull. Oh, we, we, we pulled Lightning Speed too. Okay. Alright. Draw, Charge Phase. I want to put one of our two drops. Because we don't want to put our red cards to energy. So I'm going to put one of our two drops. Um, or play this 
Vegeta. He has no energy left, so this is kind of kind of going to be like a free attack. Uh, so we attack now to bring the energy back. Yep, confirm. So now we're back at two energy. So he gets to add one from life to hand. And then we're going to attack with this Vegeta. And threaten him for awakening. Oh, another lightning speed. Okay, now we have three of them. Uh, no combo. Whatever you want to do. If you want to block it, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. No, he takes it. Goes down to four. And now we get to play Vegito. Right? For one energy. So we get to use Vegeta and Goku. Boom. And now he gets to 10k and we get to draw two. Nice, and we got the, and we got the repeat of Force Vegeta. So we 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 got the broken one. And now we're gonna hit his 20k. We're not gonna. All right, he's still gonna awaken anyway. It's fine. Um, I don't think I'll need Weiss's Coercion, so I'm just going to play a Grand Kai. Uh, I mean Guardian North Kai, excuse me. I don't think I'm going to be negating attacks this turn. He only has three energy. He, he, he can't push for game this turn. I know the Vegito deck needs at least four energy to, to, to push for game. Damn, this beta only has like an hour 40 minutes left. Um, I do want to play Mecha Frieza one more time. And then I want to create that green-blue deck I've seen people using on here. I've seen um, a lot of people start using, like with Vegeta as the leader, a blue green mashup that like uses a lot of the pop cards that green has mixed with the blue cards um and that i seems to be the best deck all right so he's playing vegeto right powers combined He has 11 cards in hand right now. He's going to attack my Vegito? Uh, okay. I'm not going to stop that. 
There's no point in stopping that. Did he know something important? Oh, there's a green Goku? Hmm. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not going to block her. I'm going to take the attack. Because he also draws when I'm at... When I'm at 4 life, right? Yeah, draw 2 and flip him over. Uh, we're going to put one of these lightning speeds into energy. Is that what we should do? I feel like we should. But it's not the smart thing to do. But we should do it. Yeah, fuck it. Because we do need three energy. And I'm not going to put Piccolo. And I'm not going to use all three of these lightning speeds. use this to try to draw a card because we do need a Vegeta before we can play oh yeah he popped max C that's how he got 11 cards in hand shit we got the three drop Vegeta that's not this the exact opposite of what we wanted okay um we're gonna play the one drop Goku see if we can get the three drop Goku because the three drop Goku can get us um the three drop, I mean, the one drop Goku can get us a three drop Goku, possibly. Yes. This might, po this might possibly be the best card in our deck right now. Um. Let's attack his leader. Just fuck it. And get our two energy back. <gasps> oh, yes. We drew into the good Vegeta. Okay, that's good. And this is actually good because we get to play this uh, Vegeta and then go into, we get to play this Vegeta, use, it, use its uh, attack, use its effect, and then we, we get to do the 30k Vegito play again. Uh, we're not going to boost it. Yep, slowly chip away from his hand. That's fine. And then we get to use this. We're going to use our red energy because we want to conserve our blue energy for our turn. I mean, for our opponent's turn, so we can Weasis Coercion them. And then draw two. Nice. Two more Vegetas. So next turn, our... Our... Vegeta... Our Vegito OTK is... Fine. As long as this attack goes through, we should be fine for next turn. Because we want him to beat down at 3 health. He might counter. Nope, no counterplay. Um, I'm not going to super combo him because 
it's not that important. Actually, you know what? It is. It kind of is that important. But I'm not going to super combo. I should just. Hmm. Should I three drop Vegeta? Yeah. Right. So now he is in range to be KO'd by this thing. And when and once because that's the case, um, it's it's going to be a lot easier for us to, you know, push for him to use his counter attacks with like our big Vegitos and stuff like that, and then attempt to go for game with uh, this final Vegito, which he should see coming, but we'll see. Because we will only get to pull this off once. Alright, let's see what he's using. This energy. He's using yellow as well? What the fuck? Oh, it doesn't matter. I forgot. That's the skill of this thing. It doesn't matter. They all become red, blue, and green. So you can play every single Goku. Hmm. That's cool. Alright, he's going to try to attack our leader. I'm... Not gonna block that. Like, why would I? He has four energy. Hmm. Still, I'm already in range for quadruple strike, so he's really just feeding me life at this point. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not blocking this, bro. Like, he sees me playing Vegito cards. Like, I, I know what his deck does too. <laughs> he's super com. Why is he super comboing, bro? I'm not blocking. I have no reason to block this. You're already in range for game. The second I see that, you know, 7 drop Gogeta in, in your uh, in your drop zone, like, I, I know that you're in range for game. I'd rather just take the free card. Yep. He's thinking really hard about what he wants to do. Okay, so one drop Goku. This, why are you playing this? I mean, like, why are you bringing it out? It's something that you should be using in a combo, not... Oh, okay. He's KO, okay. It, it, it also activates when it plays. I thought it was only when you use it for combo, but it's also when it's played. And that's really good, actually. I should put this into my Vegito deck. Um, should we let him? We're not going to counter because there's there's no reason to counter here. But let, let's see how beefy he makes it. Oh, 20k? I mean, I'll block with two. Oh, I should have just used this. I shouldn't have used that Goku. Because I want to get this to Grave anyway, but... No, his his turn isn't over yet. Uh, let's use this 3-drop Vegeta. Alright, now he's playing one drop. Uh, I'm not gonna counter attack. But now he's added the car from life to hand, I can use blocker.
I probably should just let this thing hit me to get the extra card. Because I'm probably going to need it for next turn. It Because if I can't win next turn, I probably lose. Probably. Um, we're in a Weiss's Coercion here. Oh, wait, no, I just said to let him hit me. Oh my god. I'm so bad. Why was I not paying attention? Dude, I used that way too early. He probably assumes I have another one, though. Which is good. Who do we want to charge? We're going to charge another lightning speed. We don't need both of them. Um, no, I definitely should have let that hit me so I can get the extra card. Because I, I do want to push for game right now. You know what? If he doesn't counterattack this, uh, switch two of your blue energy to active mode. Okay. Okay, so he's he's not counterattacking. Add a card from life to hand. Oh, we got Mafuba. Okay. We're gonna combo with this guy. Let me use our red. It's 25. We could pick a little boost here too. Yeah, pick a little boost here would be great. We got another Mafuba. We won't need both Gokus. Yeah, let's just... Make him regret not, um... Not counterattacking this. Alright. It's very doable. He just needs to get to 45. But he's going to be using up so much energy to get there. So we're going to use this to use our last blue energy. So we can give our leader a double strike and draw one. Alright, we drew another 7 drop, which is fine. And then we attack here. If he has a counterplay, he's going to use it. There's no counterplay. We definitely win here. We definitely win here.
because now we get to go for this Vegito. This is what we were going to do last game. It's going to be a 30k, right? Is he going to take it? He should just take it. This is this is the moment of truth. If he doesn't have a counterplay for this, he loses. So um oh shit, I should have attacked one of his uh Vegitos instead. But let's see. Okay, he gave up. He gave up. Okay. Oh my god. Um yeah, how many Hold on. So this this gains 5k for each um, Goku and Vegeta in our grave. We had 25 cards in our graveyard. Oh my god. That felt so good. 